Well, let me turn this. So, we all know right from wrong. It's, uh, you know, you, you, you have to be stupid not to know right from wrong. And, um, sometimes just being greedy is wrong. We've all been taught to, you know, work our best to get what we got and get as much as we can. It's like nothing is guaranteed. So, people fail constantly to realize that. We get greedy. We get selfish. We get uh, bigoted. We get racist. We get, uh, you know, the computer banks go crazy. And we, we, get, uh, no, we, no, we get classist, you know. But the reality is that everybody's exactly the same. But we just got a belief system that is twisted, you know. I grew up and was told, stay away from gay people. Gay people will touch you or do something to you. In the Bible, gayness was supposed to be wrong. But then everybody has their own set of beliefs. I'm tired of the play on stereotypes, how stereotypes are a joke, and stereotypes are real. It's just hurtful. You know, how people can live with no compassion and no respect. How, oh, you know, the other day, um, I don't have the information in front of me, but uh, I had a free dental clinic. You know, and they helped thousands of people, thousands of poor people who couldn't afford their dental care. A lot of great stuff went on that day. I even got a couple of teeth fixed. Mm -hmm. So, when you see all these people that need help and compassion, and the, divide, the, the diverse group of people that was there, no, no, no. That last statement I made was wrong. There was not repeating not a large diverse group of people there when you think of it I only saw low income blacks low income Mexicans low income whites and a handful of middle class that can get the day off of work that's what I saw in Oakland there was a more diverse group of people from what I was told. There were doctors giving out vision care, uh, basic general health care, vision, dental, mental, uh, OBGYN, gynecology, um, everything was at the Oakland Coliseum. Over 3,000 people showed up at this event to receive some health care benefits or some help getting health care. And uh, there were people signing people up for Obamacare and whatever and whatnot. But the event I went to was in, in Vallejo, California. The California dental people. And uh, they came out and fixed a lot of teeth. Um... Like I said, there's a lot of poor people there. A lot of people needed it. A lot of people needed help. I recently been going to the dentist, and the dentist lost his license. Um, you know, it's ridiculous. The price of dentistry. And, you know, when I was talking to those dentists that were working on me, he says, uh, even though they have the new technology, that the price of the technology has gone up. 
every time there's something new that would help people the price goes up the old technology is still expensive to use so the price of dentistry does not go down how was that so if you know who I am and those people know I dig a little bit I dug a little bit and I found out that the dentist and their assistants donate their time and a corporation donates the materials to repair people's teeth and the materials are being sold in other words these are brand new products that they're trying on the poor and downtrodden. Give them free dentistry. Which is weird, eh? On the public masses. Doctors are testing out the new materials. So they bond and see what they work on and all that. And if they like it, they can place their orders and buy the stuff. And for a limited time only, I'm going to donate all this stuff to you. You'll see how fast it works. So, I had a couple procedures done. And the American group that worked on this tooth, I believe, are nice and gentle. Talk to me. They were from Daly City, California. Dr. Joy, I believe his name is Dr. Christopher Joy, very wonderful, nice doctor, that's cool, and his, his assistant, Cammy, they were talking, they were like a team, rebuilt this too, that's just one, it's, yeah, I can tell which one of that, yeah. rebuilt it too, completely rebuilt, and I appreciate that. You know, I even said, was there any place I can give a donation? He says, donate the money to somebody else. So I'm going to donate some money to somebody today. So, after Dr. Christopher Joy from Daily City doing doing my, I'm telling you, this guy is amazing. Him and his assistant, they were, they were like watching a team, like a basketball team or a football team together it was working it it's nice then they sent me to someone else because you know you can't let the specialist work on one person the whole time wouldn't be fair somebody this other guy a Japanese team that was trying out you know it's the same equipment that they're testing is like everybody else I felt like I was in a rodeo ring this guy <laughs> But, but Dr. Joy, they had me in the machine and whatever, they had my neck back in, you know how they're doing it, Dennis. And they had the thing in there. Man, wonderful experience. They sent me to these other guys. These people had water dripping down my eye. I'm all back here, water skeeting out the side of the thing. He, He used some of the same materials the other guy did, but this too, when I left there, I felt like there was a piece of tape on it. They used a film and it needed and do some stuff to it and do all this. But the guy from Japan, he got up when he said he's done. He said, that's my real speed. Finish. You're done. And then when I get outside, I'm like, damn. I touched it and some of it flaked off. And I understood right there. One guy was saying how fast he can do it. The other guy was saying how good it can be done. And I learned my lesson. Because I said, there's a lot. I was talking to this one dude. I'm like, there's a lot of trust going on there. There's a lot of people in this room breathing. There's an old woman over there nodding off like she just had a couple cc's of the black or the china white. A lot of miles open. A lot of gloves. A lot of... 
<laughs> nervous. I've done a million conspiracy theory videos down there on this dude, internet. And after I came back from the dentist, because I really wasn't going to go at first. Because I've been trying to see this other dentist. I'm like, okay, let me jump on some of these teeth before they go bad on me. And I went. And I appreciate what all was, was there. I, I appreciate the help they gave to other people. This lady... She took her phone out, she turned the camera on, and I saw her start crying. And there are so many seminars about how many people did not get health care, how many people fell through the cracks, and what they're going to do. They're going to start up Denticare. It's going to be back in California for adults. For the last 15 or 20 years, I forget, I forget when they stopped Denticare. But they stopped helping people who couldn't afford dental. Now they're only going to do root canals in the front. They won't do any root canals in the back. So you figure, is this a compromise from the dental industry? We're going to let us do the big time money. Big money dentists will do the back. And the low budget dentists will do the front. I don't know. But after seeing in four days how many people needed health care and knowing that just recently everybody was told that they didn't apply for Obamacare, they'd be left out and have to pay a fine this year. Next year the fine goes to $650 a person or 10% of the income of the household you're in. The moral of the story is that a sick America can never be healed. A healthy America is a proper, prosperous America. The middle class is strong when the middle class is healthy. And those on the bottom can climb to the top when they have enough strength to try to make the climb. I appreciate the fact that there are some people out there trying. Even if a corporation has to say, you know what, we're going to sacrifice all this inventory to teach these guys how to use our stuff. See you soon. Even if it takes the little gratitude. Sometimes a little bit goes a long way. Sometimes we just can't be so selfish enough to only want to help those who look like us or sound like us. We should get off our ass and help anybody we can. Because in the end, we only have each other. It's just you and me on the island. We gotta work together to find something to eat. We have to work together to make sure we both stay alive. And if you look at the person that lives in your neighborhood or whatever like that, just like somebody else on an island. All the odds are against you. Maybe you'll learn how to love your neighbor a little bit better. Maybe we'll learn how to work with each other. But it shouldn't take compassion from a corporation, from a bunch of doctors or a group of doctors to try to find some health care for people. Shouldn't take that. This is supposed to be the most prosperous nation on the planet. We should already be healthy. We should not have fell backwards. We should have not taken a dive. But seeing all those people out there smiling after getting their teeth fixed lets you know there's some hope for some of us there's some hope for those who are willing to help. There's some hope for those who do help. And for the guy that drilled too fast, there'll be hope that he gets it done a little bit slower. Because that film that you put on, you're supposed to grind it down like the other doctors did. So now it looks like I got a piece of tape on my tooth. But it won't fall in half. So thank you for your time and your tape. You've been tubed. <laughs>